Hello. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our business opportunity presentation. Wow. This is a very exciting day today. Why? Because we will be chasing our dreams. I'm your MC today, and my name is Badet Mar Banai. I am your Avita nursepreneur, originally from Malaybalay City, province of Bukidnon, Philippines, but recently residing here in New Jersey, USA. So I would like to ask our guest to please write in the chat box, where are you coming from? Anybody? Okay. Where are you from? Anybody from the Philippines? From Singapore? Okay, we have from Singapore. Wow, we have Malaysia. Okay, Quezon City, Philippines. Okay, wow, Australia, Hong Kong. Where are we from here? Singapore, Philippines, Iran. Wow, we are going global. I'm so excited. We're all over the world. And before we start, I would like to see, of course, the lovely and fresh faces of our guests. So please, if you can please turn on your video, that would be very nice. We would like to see all those lovely fresh faces today. Thank you so much. Okay, I have a question uh, to ask from you, a question to ponder. Are you living the life of your dreams? Please type one in the chat box if you are. Or are you stuck in a job you don't really like? Please type two. Or are you able to pursue your passion? The one thing that takes your breath away? Please type three. Okay. Wow, we have one and three. Okay. So a combination, we have two, three, a lot of three. So that's good. You're in the right, um, you're in the right talk. A lot of three and some uh, two. Well, you are in the right uh, uh, talk today because today we will have an inspiring sharing from our guest speaker on how to have the life you always dreamed of. Our speaker is one of the pioneering, pioneering doctors of Swiss oral cell therapy in the Philippines and in Asia. She's also practicing integrative medicine, dermatology, and oncology. She was trained in Singapore. Okay, hold on. It's a... She was also trained in Singapore and has helped thousands of patients, not just in the Philippines, but all over the world. In fact, when the pandemic started, she has been giving pro bono consultation with COVID patients. What a big heart, right? Not only is she helping people with health problems, she also has a growing global network of business partners whom she is mentoring on how to build a global businesses that will give all of us the beautiful life that we deserve. Please help me welcome the soft-spoken but fearless, beautiful, and ever-dedicated Diamond President, Dr. Diona Dakuba Mabos. Hey, hey, thank you very much, Bernadette Banai, or BB for short. Let's give her a round of applause. She is our one-of-a-kind nursepreneur all the way from New Jersey. Oh my gosh, she's broadcasting. It's early in the morning. So hats off to you, BB. It's always a blessing to see you around. So inspiring to see you around. Thank you very much. So everyone, welcome Mabuhay from the Philippines. I'm broadcasting from Bonifacio Global City. <laughs> Off the gig. Yeah, and so welcome to all our guests and partners. Thank you very much for your precious, precious time. Your time is so precious to me. So I'm going to give my all to make sure that your time is not wasted tonight. All right, let's get the ball rolling. If you agree that life is beautiful, can you type beauty in the chat box? Life is beautiful, no matter what. I want to see beauty. Yes, Angela. Thank you. 
Attorney Jonah, Sheila, UP. I think 100% here agree that life hunts a machongte. <laughs> yes. Beauty, handsome, different kinds of uh, beauty uh, appreciation. And who wants to have a beautiful life? Can you raise your hand? Raise your hand if you want to have a beautiful life. Raise your hand or you can use your emoji. Yeah, all of us want to have a beautiful life. And who wants to live the life of your dreams? Can you put Heart, heart emoji. Type the heart. Type or click it. Yay. Thank you, everyone, for your cooperation. Now, the title of my sharing is A Beautiful Life in Navita. How to have the life you have always dreamed of. Will you allow me to share with all of you my life story? Is it okay? It's okay. Can you type yes in the chat box? You allow me to share my life story with all of you. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Attorney Jonah. All right. So this is... Um, let's all first put our hands on our chest together. Hands on our chest. And then try to close your eyes. And feel your heartbeat. Let's feel our heartbeat. The strength of your heartbeat. Let's all be grateful that our hearts are still beating. Let's all be grateful we are still alive today. So many died in the past few years. And I want you to paint a picture in your mind. What is a beautiful life for you? What is the life you have always dreamed of? Try to picture it in your mind. Don't have to share it now. Try to picture it. What is a beautiful life for you? What is the life you have always dreamed of? Okay, then you may open your eyes. Whatever it is that you saw, Try to draw it or cut out a picture and then put it in your vision board. That will be your, your guiding elements when you are going to pursue the life you have always dreamed of. So this is my life story beginning with my dad and my mom. Hi, dad, mom. I know you're watching tonight. Hello. So my, this is my dad and me, very young, Dr. Diona. So my dad taught me to, to handle money. Gave me, he taught me to save in the bank very, at a very young age. Thank you, dad. But what happened is that when my account became dormant, the bank ate up all my money. <laughs> so at that very young age, I learned it's not wise to put money in the bank because it just ate up all my money. And then my mom, my mom encouraged me to become a doctor. Mom said, a doctor's income is greater than a lawyer's income. By the way, they are both lawyers. And then we computed the consultation fee of doctors comparing to the professional fees of lawyers. So mom concluded, she told me, be a doctor, you will earn more than a lawyer like like her so that's what mom told me she's my encourager in becoming a doctor so this is me i think i was only four five years old and we have a big family 11 children and can you count what number i am i'm number eight yeah i'm number eight so going from left to the right picture entails a lot of sacrifices on my parents. I honor my dad and mom for raising up 11 children from babies to becoming full-grown adults, finishing college, and even masters and further studies. But between these two pictures, one is uh, 20, 30 years ago, 
The other one is very, very recent, three years ago. A lot of sacrifices, a lot of um, pain and joy and pain and sorrow happen in between these two pictures. And I remember there was a time that I would, because if you have so many kids, then you have a lot of expenses, right? So, and then dad said, we, his children are their greatest investment. They were not able to have any savings at this time of their life in their old age because all their money went to all of us, their children, 11 children, imagine. So a lot of challenges. I experienced one time I had to go to class and bring a promissory note to the teacher because we don't have money to pay for the tuition fee. And even up to college, I have, I have to, to ask also or bring a promissory note because we don't have money yet to pay for my dormitory. And also, I remember we don't have enough money to, to pay for repairs of the house. Our, our roof have holes. And so when, when rainy season comes, our, the rain enters our house from the roof and even below. Uh, the flood water will go inside our house. So that's our situation when I was growing up. Growing up in a big family is not easy, but, but for a one big happy family, we have a lot of happy memories. I remember when, when, when rainy season comes, typhoon season, there's rain on our roof and then flood <laughs> below. Daddy would make uh, makeshift bridges. Uh, chairs to be like our bridges so we can pass and go out of the house. Then we'll also play, uh, what you call, we will play paper, paper boats on the, on the water inside our house. So even if there's flood inside our house, it was still fun. It was a beautiful life. We had so much fun. That's what daddy did to us. They, pro they were able to provide for everything that we needed. Okay, and so to help my parents, I tried to live uh, a simple life. And, and I remember with my shoes, I would wear it for as long as I can, like from grade four until grade six, I have one pair of shoes. So as long as I can wear it, I just use it, even though it, it looks really bad already. Some of my classmates, already asking me how come I'm not changing my shoes because deep inside I wanted to help my parents I wanted to be thrifty in order to help my parents raise all of us up and then I had my first business when I was nine years old so I I, I bought some stocks from the Sari Sari store and then I will resell it to my to my playmates, to our neighbors. So at, at the age of nine, I thought of doing that to, in order to earn some money. And this is a very, very important lesson for a young girl like me at the age of nine. My first concept of practical intelligence on um, using other people's money and that money is a creation and it's something that begins in the mind. So money begins in the mind. And then I also had my first job at the age of 17. Yes, I'm a Jollibee girl. Proud to be a Jollibee girl. <laughs> I was one of the crew and boy, this, it was so hard. I had to stand up for eight hours and I only had 15 minutes break. And... But Jollibee gave us our own snack of chicken joy with rice and pineapple juice. You can remember that. But inside the, the store, it's so slippery. You have to be very careful that you don't fall. So I can still remember my shoes on the floor and being so slippery. I'm carrying this, this orange juices and sundaes for the, for the clients. It was very challenging. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm super tired that I couldn't even stand up straight. 
my manager. I was already bending at the end of the day. My manager would have to bend me up because so it was so hard. So that was the time. The value I learned from this experience is the value of hard-earned money. How hard it is to earn money, trading your time for it. So this is still a beautiful experience for me. And then fast forward, I finished college, nursing, and then became a doctor, and then became a youth missionary at the age of 25. So at this age, this is one of the best years of my life. And I'm not earning any money at this time, although I'm already a doctor, but not really practicing because I devoted two years of my life to full-time mission work to these young people. No, I wasn't earning any money, zero, but I was very, very happy Yeah, at this time. So this is one of the best years of my life as a missionary. Then after this stage of my life, I call it the dark night of the soul, wherein I experience multiple rejections and shattered dreams. From, from what? I experienced rejections from the different training institutions that I tried to apply to because uh, they were questioning why I, I, I wasted two years of my career in mission work and did not go through training right away. So that was their question. So for them, it's a waste of time. So I had multiple rejections. And I also experienced at this time a broken heart from my first a relationship with with a guy so a guy who broke my heart so these two came at the same time in my life so i was very broken hearted had shattered dreams and i went into depression yeah, at that time but i remember from one of my mentors his name is brother bo sanchez he said your greatest trial when given some time turn out to be your greatest blessing. Repeat, your greatest trial when given some time will turn out to be your greatest blessing. And indeed, it turned out to be my greatest blessing. So now, I am grateful for all those institutions who rejected me. Because of them, they led me to my great mentor, the father of dermatology, Dr. Vincent Pineda. He trained me as a dermatologist in the holistic way. He trained me not just in dermatology, but in excellent patient care, even in, bu in the business aspect of dermatology. So, wow. So, I'm grateful to all those who rejected me. They led me to my great mentor. And I'm grateful to the man who broke my heart because if he didn't break my heart, I wouldn't have met my husband whom I married at the age of 33. My husband, my best friend, my match made in heaven, my partner for life, my bonky. Yeah. So see, it's true. My greatest trial turned out to be my greatest blessing. And then, of course, I started to be employed as a doctor in my 30s by two of the top beauty companies in the Philippines. So I remember in my first company, I was very fulfilled as a young doctor, but it was very, very tiring. I had no time, no time freedom. I have to work six days a week, only one day off, not even on a Sunday. Wow, what about family time, right? And I have to ask permission from the boss before I can spend time with my loved ones. There was a time the boss didn't allow me. So that really broke my heart. I missed our family vacation. And at the end of the day, we have a, a, a quota every month that we have to reach so that we will have additional bonus. Because if we don't reach the quota, no bonus. We just have the fixed income. So the fixed income is just fixed. It's, it's, not, it's not big, it's small. And at the end of the day, 
I'm so stressed. I have falling hair, <laughs> bun drop, I have shoulder pains and back aches. So that was my life in the first company. So I, I transferred to another company. In this company, the pay is higher, the load is lesser. But uh, I got tired of clocking in and clocking out. Clock in, clock out. I said, when will this end? Eight to five. When will this end? I have to beat the traffic every day. And then I was not so fulfilled as a doctor. Back then, I felt like a flower on a vase. We signed a contract wherein I have to be, have to remain beautiful at all times. I have to remain in my normal weight at all times. If I gain weight, that can be a ground to terminate me. So very high standards of beauty. And so while, while being a doctor in these institutions, I was reading this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This was introduced to me by my sister. To read this one, and there I learned that there are four ways to earn. As an employee, wherein you have a job, you trade your time for money. So, no work, no pay. That's the life of an employee. Of which I am currently in that situation where I was reading the book. And then second is self-employed. When you own a job, self-employed is for the doctors, lawyers, professionals. But still, no leverage. You are still trading your time for money. For doctors who have their own clinics, no clinic, no money. That's why during pandemic, many clinics closed, many doctors suffered. Because when your clinic is closed, no money. Okay, and then on the right quadrant are the business owners in your own system. And then this is where you have leverage. Then the people work with you. Those are the ones who give you the money. And then the investor own an investments wherein their money works for them. Or your money works for you. This is my favorite line wherein your money works while you sleep. Wow. So there, with this uh, realization that opened my mind, I said to myself, I have to go from employed to self-employed to business owner and investor. How do I do it? How do I fire my bosses? I want to go from left to the right. We're in employed, self-employed. That is where 5% of the wealth is. Only 5%, but 95% of the population are in this quadrant. While on the other side, the business owners and the investors, they are only 5% of the population, but they have 95% of the wealth. So I wanted to go there. I wanted to go to the right. And I said, I have to do it because I, I, I saw that my big boss is also a doctor. He owns a company. He's able to do it. So I said, I will also do it. So I started my exit plan. My plan to fire the big bosses. I read another book, Rich Dads Before You Quit Your Job. What I remember most in this book is when do you quit your job? When your passive income or your small business income is equal to or greater than your household expenses. So that was the time my husband and I kept on computing. We kept on computing, and boy, I was scared. I was I was scared to fire my big boss. I would ask my husband, can we really do it without my fixed employee income? Then we will compute again. So we kept computing. So it was a calculated risk. Just remember, I was scared, but I did it. Bit the bullet. It was a calculated risk. Because we already reached this point, we started investing in our paper assets, we had a passive income that is covering for our monthly expenses. Then I, start, I started my journey to be self-employed. 
having my own small home clinic. I started in a 10 square meters clinic in my home at Chena Park Residences in Paranaque City. And this place is very historical because this is where my two angels went to share Cellar Gen and Avita with me. So I put angel wings on them. This is Gina and Gay. They, they strategize on how to how to cellergize and avitalize me. So I call it cellergize and avitalize. Because these two shared cellergen with me. And I remember, this is called the divine appointment. The last, my last day on my job is the first day I formally signed my membership in Avita. Wow. So, I'm forever grateful to these two ladies, Gina and Gay, for sharing Seller Jen and Avita with me. So, who knows the one who invited you tonight is your angel too, right? So, thank them after this sharing. And I would like you to take a look at the small box I'm, ha I'm holding. What is that box? That is the box called Seller Jen. Let me tell you more about it. My last day on the job is the beginning of my Seller Gen story. My Seller Gen story begins in my quest for a fountain of youth for my beloved mom because mom was already in and out of the hospital at that time. This was around seven years ago. She has so many maintenance medications already like 10 tablets a day and she developed severe heart failure and pulmonary pulmonary congestion and pulmonary embolism she has all the five highs and then when they shared cellogen with me after a few months i asked them to send a box because at that time mom was already back in the hospital with severe heart failure. She cannot uh, move so well anymore. She had to be put on complete bed rest. She cannot even talk. She was so weak. So I, I noticed that her meds kept increasing, but her health kept declining. I said, what else can I do? Uh, it pains me to see my mom getting weaker and weaker like a candle losing and losing its light. My mom has always been my pillar, my strength. And so I wanted to give her the best. What else can I give her? Then I tried Cellergen on her. And behold, I saw a miracle. After just a few days, she was able to sleep so well. After a week, mom was able to go to the toilet already. After a month, she was able to travel out of town to receive her Life and Achievement Award as a lawyer. And she fully recovered in just two months. We followed up on her internist. All her labs were normal for the first time. The doctor veneration, he removed seven out of her 10 maintenance months. Just down to three. The rest are cellar gen and vitamins. So this is the time I saw the power of cell therapy, but I was convinced that Cellergen helped my mom and that it's time for me to pay it forward, to share it with anyone who will need it because I was once in their shoes. And mom would always say this, if not for Cellergen, maybe she wouldn't be alive anymore. Thank you, Cellergen. So what is Cellergen? It's the first and only oral, non-injectable marine cell therapy supplement in the world. It's made in Switzerland. Very, very high quality. The principle is so simple, cell therapy. We feed the cells with nutrients so that it will be able to heal itself. You repair the cells. You repair the tissues, the organs, the system, the entire person. That is the simple principle behind cell therapy. 
it's a form of nutritional therapy. And it comes from salmon DNA in the deep sea ocean of France. This DNA is very, very important. It's the one that will repair all our damaged DNA because damage to our DNA is the beginning of all diseases. And there are also other ingredients. Premium synergistically blended. It has two premium peptide, e collagen, for regeneration of the skin, the hair, and the joints. It's good for those with arthritis, even osteoporosis, and joint problems. Hydro-MN peptide. This one lowers the glycemic index of sugar. It's good for diabetics and those who have cancer. Why? Because sugar is the food of cancer cells. Lutein for regeneration of the eyes. Grape skin extract is for the blood vessels. It's an antioxidant. It's also good for those who are fighting cancer, undergoing radiation, chemotherapy as well. Coenzyme Q10 gives you the energy and vitality of a 21 years old. It's also good for the heart. So see, this is a unique combination that you cannot find in your ordinary supplements or vitamins. It has unsurpassed worldwide accreditations, halal certified, just want to highlight Muslims can take it, with current good manufacturing practice, full compliance to US FDA, Swiss attestation certification, and French sanitation approval. My favorite is DSCG certified drug free. It's the gold standard in dietary supplement certification when it is free from any chemicals, steroids, hormones, antibiotics. It's all natural. Even our elite Olympic athletes can safely take it. I have pregnant patients and children taking it provided they have medical conditions. And it's backed by evidence with independent clinical studies. So these are what the scientists have found out. It helps in cell regeneration, enhancement of energy, stamina, and vitality, relief of joint pains, say goodbye to painkillers, steroids, mental health, you can say goodbye to antidepressants, glycemic index reduction or decreases blood sugar, Beauty enhancement, whether you like it or not, you will become more beautiful, more handsome, more youthful. Because the cells are being regenerated, it's the beauty from within. It boosts the immune system, very important. We're still fighting COVID, we're still in the pandemic. And it's good for the reproductive system. For the women, it delays menopause. For the men, it has a natural viagra effect. Let me share a few of my patients who have beautiful salogen stories, being able to give hope for the hopeless. First is my friend, Dr. Kathy, who has an autoimmune condition. Autoimmune conditions, there is no cure. You can only put it in remission. Her protocol, salogen, probiotics, or life biotics. She's on a healthy diet and lifestyle using her experience on functional medicine. The results, she is pain-free, steroids-free, immunosuppressants-free. Wow. These are actually miraculous results from a medical standpoint. This is my aunt, end-stage lung disease or COPD. She is also diabetic. She's been on Celagen since 2016 because my cousin saw the a beautiful effects on my mom. They also gave allergen to their mom. And of, of course, she's still maintained on her maintenance medications. The results, she has more energy, less need for oxygen, less hospitalization, no longer diabetic after one year of taking allergen. She's one of the cases I saw that the diabetic meds were removed. And she's still alive until today. Mind you, this is an end-stage lung condition. End-stage kidney disease, already on dialysis. Uya Burney was referred to me because they wanted to delay the dialysis. So I put him on Celergen every other day. We were able to delay his dialysis for one year. Now, so many 
patients with end-stage kidney disease will come to me. And they said, even if it's just for a year, that would mean a lot if they will be able to delay their dialysis. And his immune system was intact. He's COVID-free. And the best thing, still able to work and provide for his family, even if he's undergoing dialysis. That is the best thing for Kuya Bernas. He is the breadwinner in their family. And even Colin, cancer stage four. This is my friend, Wang. She's in remission post-surgery. She refused chemotherapy, which I have to respect. I cannot impose radio chemotherapy on my patients. It will be their decision. I put her on Celergen twice a day, life biotics, healthy diet and lifestyle, of course. She's still alive and kicking, and her friend said she's glowing. She is a passionate advocate of cell therapy. And many, many more. And just lastly is my parents. They are both super senior COVID survivors of the Delta variant. We know how dangerous Delta was. So many died during Delta surge. And my parents got it for some reason. And of course, I had to take care of them, right? And even our caregiver. So I gave the main caregiver Celogen as well. I was also taking Celogen while we take care of them. I had an autoimmune condition. I am high risk, but I am a COVID virgin. Yeah, so just making all of you laugh. I'm a COVID virgin, never had COVID. Of course, I am on cell therapy and I'm also fully vaccinated because I'm doing everything for COVID not to hit me because at this point, we still don't know the long-term effects of the virus inside our body. We only know of the short-term effects. And then my parents just had mild case, although mom had a neurologic or mental sequela, but she was able to recover fully in three months. Now, let me share with you my Avita story. Cellargen is being distributed by Avita. It is a Singapore company since 2007. We're going to celebrate our 15th year Crystal Jubilee this year. Wow, and we are a green company with an Asia-wide opportunity. We offer preventive wellness and anti-aging solutions for a better life, for a better world indeed. So exciting, join us in our anniversary in August in Singapore. I would like to share with all of you, Ms. Lee, our global CEO. She said, life is a gift. Never take it for granted. We only have one life to live, right? So we should never take it for granted. We are present in nine countries and growing. With Two billion reach. Japan, Taiwan, Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, Australia, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Thailand. We are a wellness company, and wellness now is a 4.5 trillion global industry. It's growing at a historic rate, nearly twice as fast as the global economy. Avita is well positioned in the wellness market. It is crisis proof, pandemic proof. So, for a better life as wellness advocates, we can use to retail. We share wellness, knowledge, and skills. We'll only be able to touch lives one at a time. So I realized if I follow the system and work with fellow network entrepreneurs, network enterprise builders like franchising, we develop network business leaders, we'll be able to touch lives many at a time. And so I would like to share this picture just a representative of my first allergen lecture in a doctor's convention, Philippine Academy of Medical Specialists. Oh boy, I remember. I was also scared when I gave this lecture because I didn't know, have questions. Will doctors believe me? Will they try allergen? But nevertheless, I still did it or as what might be said, just do it. So 
I gave the lecture, I gave my best, I spoke from my heart and my experience. And lo and behold, this is like testing the Philippine market. After my lecture, many doctors went to our Cellogen group and they wanted to start on Cellogen. So that was my first experience. And then I shared Cellogen not just in doctors, but in different cities in Metro Manila, different PCTs in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. We have three major islands in the Philippines. And of course, in Singapore and different parts of the world and via Zoom. So our reach now is unlimited, not just in the nine countries. So I was like a plant when I started as a seed, then started to bloom, then started to bear fruit. Just like in our enterprise in Avita. How did you start? Start as a VIP, then silver associate and gold associate. These are the consumer positions. We all enjoy lifetime 20% discount. And then the business startup position is a gold associate. And then our goal is to become platinum director as soon as possible. There are no bosses, no bosses here in Navita. Just different rankings, just to show that we have different earnings or different commissions. So the higher your ranking, the higher your commission. That's why I'm encouraging everyone to start as a business position, which is gold associate and become platinum director as soon as possible because platinum director and above, these are the enterprise builders and main shareholders of Avita with global shares. Wow, this is one of the things that really attracted me to Avita. Why? Because I have the chance to become a shareholder, even if my surname is not a Tan or not a Kaktiong, not a Gokong Wei. These are the, the major family names in our country. So I have, even if my surname is Mabus from an unknown, from an unknown uh, place in Bacolod, I can be a shareholder of Avita. Isn't that so exciting, right? And you won't be doing this blindly. We have an education system. Of course, I call it the Avita Masters in Multi-Level Marketing. Why? Why do you still have to study again? Because when I became a doctor, it took me 20 years to study. So Avita is a different kind of line, a different kind of business. So we also have to study. We have business opportunity presentation, just like what we're having now. We have new distributor orientation, networker basic course. Just remember, learning equals earning. We have entrepreneur leap seminar to give you the mindset of how it is to become a successful Avita entrepreneur. Remember, it all begins in the mind. We have elite eagle for our elite leaders. We have industrial expert seminar where we invite industry experts to add more value to our partners and distributors so we can add more value to the world. And what has it done to my income? So my Avita income is five to 10 times of my employed income or six to seven digits a month. The sky is the limit. Wow. And so what? I say, so what if I'm earning six to seven digits a month or five to ten times my employed income? So what? Ask me what. <laughs> so what? What's the meaning of all this money? You see? It will all depend on your relationship with money, right? You should have a good relationship with money. She will be able to attract it. What's the meaning of all this money? So I'm going to the last, almost second to the last part of my sharing. Allow me to share with you my beautiful life in Avita. I need well to give the best of health for my beloved parents in their 80s. This one for me is priceless. They, they gave their best for us. 
they sent us to the best schools that they can. And now it's my turn to give the best of health to them. It's my turn to take care of them. So this is one of my beautiful blessings. I have full quality and quantity time with my loved ones, never missing any milestone or special occasion, especially of my growing infant. I can see him when he's already sitting. I saw when he's he, when he can already lie down and turn around. So those are very important milestones for me, not missing any special occasion. And I can, I can, we can, we do spend staycation together every month, whenever we want to, or even twice a month. And the wealth of experience being able to travel around the globe, experiencing different culture, and and tasting local food. These are our sort of only vice of me and my husband. Especially me, I love to travel. I know many of you also, you love to travel. And I can travel whenever I want to, wherever I want to. I don't have to ask permission from the big boss because I'm the boss of my own enterprise. I'm the CEO of my own enterprise. And even if I tested it already, even if I spent two weeks in Hawaii, my Avita income is still six to seven digits. I spent two months in China. Avita income still six to seven digits. That's the power of leverage because I have my team working with me. And I was able to purchase my gym wellness center in the heart of Makati City. Before, I used to wish that I was, I wish I was born with a silver spoon so that I can easily buy a share in, in a hospital which costs millions of pesos so that I can practice there. But now, I am more grateful I wasn't born with a silver spoon because I realized for something that you really work hard for, you put your own sweat, blood, tears, it is more valuable. So I'm grateful I wasn't born with a silver spoon. This is something I can really be proud of from my own sweat, blood, and tears, my very own dream wellness center. And career, my Avita career, experienced so much love from my mentors and Avita family. So these are my mentors. They are here with us tonight. You will meet them later in the breakout room. They all raised me up. My mentors, my family, my sidelines, even my downlines, they all raised me up to be the person that I am today, to be the best version of myself, to be the most beautiful version of myself. And I am grateful to all of them. These are my elite leaders. I'm so blessed to have strong leaders. They are a massive blessing to my life and to our company as well. We have a dream team as teamwork makes the dream work. They are, they are the ones who work even if when I am vacationing. So if in the day of the ones vacationing, I will be working. So that's how we work together. We also travel together. And most of all, have my lifelong mission for the poor. I have funds for it through Avita. And I am so thrilled with Tita Alice, who is one of my elite platinum directors, uh, also a, a multi-successful businesswoman in Davao City. And she is going to wield her Avita Enterprise to Lamdag Foundation for Women. This foundation, its main thrust is to mold women from the poor socioeconomic class to become good daughters, good wives, and good mothers. So this is like community building. You have, because Tita Ali said, the hand that rocks the cradle is the one that rules the world. So if you're able to mold these women to good mothers, good wives, then you will have a better Philippines. You will have a better world, right? So you can see the heart. This is the one that excites me most. This is the one that electrifies me. This is one of my passions. This is the one whom I am very passionate about right now, being able to help the poor. This is something that 
I do not mind the time passing by. So at this point, I want you to, to think, just to think, what is your passion? What it is that, what's that one thing that takes your breath away? Are you able to do it at this point of your life? If you're not, then I would like to invite you all to our breakout rooms and you can talk, share with our leaders all over the world. As I've said, they are also my mentors, my partners, my friends. And this is what we will be discussing. Only just around, we still have a lot of time so we can be in the breakout room for around 20 minutes. And this is what we will share about. What struck you most during the presentation and why? And do you see Avita as a bridge to heaven, a beautiful life or the life of your dreams? And then we will all come back again after 20 minutes. I will be sharing one last story, one last story that will surely inspire all of you. Okay? So, Didi Badet, are we all set for the breakout group? Yes. Okay, welcome back, everyone. Hello, did you have a great time in the breakout rooms? So before I proceed with my one last inspiring story, is there anyone who will not be able to sleep if you will not be able to share whatever it is that struck you most tonight? Is there anyone? Breakout room leaders, you can volunteer or you can volunteer yourself. Before the one last story, is there anyone who wants to share? What struck you most tonight? Or if you see Avita as a bridge to your dreams? Maybe you want to ask uh, Joe Chan to share just now in our room. I think he shared quite. Okay. Where is Joe? You want to share? Hi, Joe. Hello. Hi. Um, yeah, I mean, I was just bringing up one point, um, which I was uh, touched by what you shared about you, you are rich, so what? I mean, so what if you yeah, earn all that money? So, I mean, the, the, because myself, I'm also a social worker by training, and I've been a social worker for the last 20 years. So, so just like yourself, you are also helping you know others. So I think one of the dream or my idea is that I want to leverage on Avitas as a, as a platform to achieve my dream, uh, to continue to help others as a life coach now. Yeah, and then, but at the same time, um, to think about the income that will take care of myself, my family, and achieve some of these things like what you shared, you're able to build yeah, yeah, hospitals and things like that. Thank you very much, Joe. You got it right. Just remember, every missionary also needs, also has his their own needs, and every mission entails a lot of money. All right. So I wish you all the best, and let me know. Maybe someday we can also work hand in hand together. All right. Then one last story. I have to share my screen. How many among you have watched the movie A Beautiful Life? Raise your hand. Yeah, mm, not so many. Huh? A Beautiful Life, Julie said. So yeah, this is one movie that made me laugh all throughout. And then in the end, <laughs> the ending, it made me cry. So if you haven't watched it, you have to watch it. Yeah, it's very inspiring. Life is beautiful. A three Academy Awards winner, Finding Beauty Amidst the Holocaust. I just want to give you a gist of what the movie is about. It is based on a real life story about a Jewish Italian man whose story is narrated by his son named Guido. So yeah, that's Guido and his father was killed sadly in the concentration camp. He and his mama survived due to his father's sacrifices. To shield him from the horror of the Holocaust, the father, the father pretended that they were just in a game. 
and his father's circumstances may have changed because they used to be rich. Then they had to become uh, prisoners in the Jewish concentration camp. His father's circumstances may have changed, but his purpose remained the same, which is to love. And this is, you see oh, how the father is showing, making fun of the movements just to show that, to show to his son that they were just in a game. And then in the end, this is what Gita said in the movie. This is my story. This is the sacrifice my father made. This was his gift to me. He said to his mama, when he saw his mama, said, mama, we won. A thousand points to laugh like crazy about. We won. So those are the words of the child. And we can all relate to this at this time. Let me try to change the word, not Holocaust. We can find, still find beauty amidst the pandemic. We can find beauty amidst the war in Ukraine. We can find beauty amidst the, the soaring global oil price. And for my kababayans, we can find beauty amidst new set of government leaders. We can always find beauty no matter what happens. We can always find beauty no matter what life throws at us. So now I have found the secret to having a beautiful life. Begin with a beautiful mind and a grateful heart and a heart full of love. Always remember your reason, your purpose which is to love. Thank you very much, everyone. And I now invite once again, our beautiful MC, Bibi from New Jersey. Join us, let's go create beautiful lives in Avita. Wow. Thank you so much, Dr. D, for the inspiring and breathtaking sharing of your beautiful life. You really inspired us. Uh, my key takeaway for today is to have a beautiful life is a choice. It's not by luck. So start now. Don't make your dreams wait. The best way to get started in building a beautiful life in Avita with us is by taking advantages of the special promo packages just for you. So we have the first one. The best time to get it is the to start it with is the Fight COVID promo, only for six boxes with a free serum real for 76,000. You can get started with that, or you can grab this fantastic Celagen package, the family package of 25 boxes for 310,000 pesos. But if you really want to start building your dreams, the best startup uh, position, just what Dr. D, uh, told us during the, the talk or the, the sharing is to make, all you, uh, to make all your dreams come true is to start this business position, the gold package, which is 65 boxes of free Celergen plus five Celergen free boxes and five Celeva uh, free boxes only for 962,000 pesos. Um, so guys, we hope um, we will all achieve our dreams. Uh, we will end this memorable evening of building our dreams by a group uh, group photo. So can we ask DP Gina for uh, picture taking? Can we ask everybody to please the, turn off your video? We need to see those lovely faces before we go. Okay, and put the and heart then, emoji as well. Okay. So keep smiling. It takes about a few seconds <laughs> with my camera so keep the hot emoji on smile one two three one more and last one okay back to you b thank you so much everybody thank you for your time thank you for coming hope we inspired you chase up your dreams we'll see you in avita bye Thank you, Bidette. Thank you, Dr. D. It's a beautiful